It was like an arranged marriage. So the four of us were brought together and put in a room, and we didn't know each other. We'd not worked with each other before. And they said, all right, what can you do with this? And so there was, there was a lot of kind of elbowing, trying to jockey for position, trying to figure out whose voice is going to do what. Once we got through uh, Unbreak My Heart and through My Way, and kind of a real sense of an arc to the song had revealed itself, then we went, ah. Ah, uh, we have something, we have, we have a template, we have something we can really kind of anchor us into <clears throat> our own musical universe. And after that, it just became fun. I remember I met Urs in the train station. Yeah, Waterloo Station. At Waterloo Station. And I showed up, I was wearing cowboy boots. Yeah, I think. cowboy boot and a denim jacket. And a denim jacket. Mm -hmm. And he had a big old ponytail. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it? All this is very funny because he was the like opera singer of ten years, and I've obviously been a very uh, classical singer, but I was been uh, a heavy metal rocker at heart. So <laughs> I was not uh, at all what he expected, <laughs> and he was not at all what I expected to sing. I remember that when we met, for me the first time was in the studio, and there he just basically said, "There you go." Um, this is the studio, that's the producer, how do you feel about it? And I was like, wow, that's, it was literally, let's go, let's do it. Uh, I don't think there was time, personally, for me to ask myself the question. Uh, I just, I think we went straight into work mode and yeah. let's do it. Let's take a, a chance. I mean, I don't, for me, there was not that much thinking. Oh, 